Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do our devotional for August 7, 2020. And we're going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7 through 10. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7 to the verse 10. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Right, but we, before we read that, uh, do our uh, reading, we're going to start praying. Uh, like always, right? Father God, we thank you. Uh, this uh, beautiful day um, this opportunity that you give us please teach us again and every day the things that we need to understand things that we have to keep in our heart and the way for us to be able to be used by you at any moment at any given time make us ready prepare us so we'll be able to preach the gospel talk about Jesus Christ and defend our faith and be able to open our mouth and bless others bless us and the way for us to bless others we we search and we seek for you we look for you and we want to find you and thank you very much because we can announce the the um, good news and we want to learn how to do it better bless Lord bless every single boy and girl that's watching this video every single person who's watching this video as well and be with them protect them in the name of Jesus I ask you this thanks amen and amen let's start with our reading uh, we said there's gonna be Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 through 10 how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news who proclaim peace who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen, lift up their, their voices. Together they shout, out, shout for joy when the Lord returns to Zion. They will see it with their own eyes, burst into songs of joy together. To ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare His holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God. Today, we're going to be talking about beautiful feet. Beautiful feet. That beautiful feet, right? I, I believe it's going to be a really good thing. Please put attention. Don't forget that um, on every single um, uh, devotional, I add a link under the description with the uh, PowerPoint of the uh, devotional for today. We're going to talk about Victor Plumer, or Plymere. For eight long months, pioneer missionary Victor Plymer was uncounted for. It was 1927, and it was believed that he had been killed in his mission to take the gospel to the land of Tibet. However, in Detroit, Michigan, a woman felt lit prey for Plymer, especially for his feet. She found out later that the missionary was still alive and that God had worked through her to save him from a certain death, from frozen, infected, bleeding feet. Plymer fully recover and continue to spread the message of Jesus Christ. Remember that in Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 says, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. God wants you to share the gospel, however your feet might take you. Those who receive Christ as a result of your witness will experience the peace of having their sins forgive, forgiven through His great sacrifice. They will forever remember the day you told them they could be adopted into God's family. And they will always appreciate the effort you made to share the gospel with them. Take time to consider how you can proclaim salvation to your family your classmates and your friends please answer these two questions which of your friends have never heard about salvation through Jesus which of these friends 
which of your friends have never heard about salvation through Jesus? Second question. How can your feet become beautiful to non-Christians? Let me repeat the question. How can your feet become beautiful to non-Christians? Now, I want you to put your answers under comments, and I will see you next time. God bless you. Don't forget, the link at the end of the each, uh, devotional is on, under description, and have a beautiful day.